Our final speaker for this morning is uh, Dr. Maurizio Catullo again, and uh, a man who needs no introduction. And he's going to speak on Raynaud's uh, systemic sclerosis and capillaroscopy. This topic is uh, different from the previous one, but it's related to systemic sclerosis, of course. That is, again, a disease much more com common in females. And uh, again, estrogens play a role. In fact, if we consider a very common symptoms that tell us that something is wrong in the microcirculation, the Reno phenomenon that was described 150 years ago by Maurice Reynaud in France in his thesis. We know that Reynaud is characterized by the so-called French flag colors, white, blue, and red. <laughs> or American, no. Maybe another flag with the colors. Anyway, it's a phenomenon that is quite common epidemiologically, especially the primary renal phenomenon that is considered benign, but you will see it's not so benign, absolutely. Because especially in winter, the severity, the intensity, the duration of this ischemia may be a clear risk factor and damaging factor to the endothelial cells. And for the beginning of several connective tissue diseases, especially, of course, systemic sclerosis. As you know, systemic sclerosis start in the end in the face, where you get a real phenomenon when you have a cold temperature, the area that much more suffer if you are well covered, of course, if you are naked everywhere, but if you are covered are the ends and the face. So the ischemia induced by Renault phenomenon, and especially in winter, has something to do with the pathogenesis of systemic sclerosis. It's a risk factor in any case. And so it's not a so benign condition to have Renault. Several causes are implicated in a primary not just the cold, but it's so reactivity of the parasympathetic system, nervous system, but also emotional stress, similar mediators, or mechanical stress also, together with chemicals, may induce damage to endothelium. And endothelium is the target, you will see, for the beginning of systemic sclerosis, endothelial cells. So this is called primary. But we have the secondary when the primary is associated with clinical symptoms of a connective tissue disease. The same phenomenon is called secondary, but probably is the disease is secondary to the renal phenomenon, the opposite. In fact, if you consider the so-called secondary or connective tissue associated renal phenomenon, even in lupus and uh, rheumatoid arthritis, Again, you find associated for the development of the associated connective tissue diseases, the risk factors we already discussed, the female sex, the genetic or epigenetic is fundamental, a trigger that may be the infection, trigger for the immune system activation, and chronic stress again, as lack of endogenous stress response system hormones, especially glucocorticoids, in chronic condition. In other words, the ischemia, the damage to the endothelial cells, together all the risk factors, all together are inciting events for the microvascular damage. And so the Reno is not anymore so much functional, but become an organic, you will see, with real damage of the microvessels at the level of the endothelium. And endothelial cells damaged, lesioned, becomes targets for the immune response, immune inflammatory response, a local around the fingers. There is a, a local mini micro immune inflammatory reaction involving all the cells of the immune system, T lymphocyte, B cells, maybe lung cells from macrophages, and of course platelet, very curious cells that participate to the party. 